two more guests coming in, you guys. I'm gonna oh my have God, them come so in. Steve and Rob, come on in. I'll, I'll, I'll pull over. I'll, 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 I'll go out and go. back for that. I'll take a break. I'm gonna take a quick break. Okay. Right. I'll Sarah see you guys in a bit. Ah. Um, this is a, 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 a person named uh, Rob Benedict. Benedict. Yes. Benedict. And then Steve Gazaragosa from the Valley Folk. That's not how you pronounce our names. So many requests are coming in. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So you're distracting everyone. <laughs> it's because I'm so colorful. That's can, why. Can I touch you? Yes, please. This doesn't look like a real beard. It's real, I swear. It looks so fuzzy. Yeah. Like a chia. And it's soft. It's soft, actually. It I have a soft beard. beard. Do you, like, soften it? I do. I put some creams. Do you soften your I beard? soften his. Oh! <laughs> oh. And guys, we dance whenever we get $100 yeah. or more. So. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Woo. 200 or more. 200 or more. Live music. Yeah, guys. Or $50. <laughs> we have, if we have a request, you guys can throw it over to uh, Trevor. Oh, yeah. 250, they want to hear you sing. Oh, Rob, would that be okay? Uh, what am I singing? Anything you want, uh, Trevor. <laughs> do you that know Trevor can do. Some Disney or what? Ooh! Ooh, Ooh yeah. Rob that's, has that's an amazing band. House. He is so good. Is I love that yeah. he did not have to be talked to. Oh, uh, yeah. What? what? <laughs> He's like, here I go. Sure, yeah. Man, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what, give what me more money for Rob Pirates? Benedict. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. 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 And you can sing for the rest of the uh, time. Now, do we have Rob? Are, yeah, we, are we ready? Uh, and then someone donated another 250 for Rob to sing Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. What a treat. You, Rob. <laughs> Bring the tissue. We got, uh, <laughs> I do, right now, we're doing a song uh, by a new band. Uh, they call themselves the Beatles. Uh, uh, England. Hamster. Thanks. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, did you, yeah. Yesterday. All my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though we're here to stay. Oh, I believe yesterday. Suddenly. I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow in
Oh, and there's another request that came in for 250. Uh-oh. Uh, Woo! Dead or alive. Okay. But we should do Vanderkin first. Cause my lap while we do this. It's all the same. Because I don't know it. We can, I, if you get the lyrics up, I can vaguely remember it. Any told with half a brain.
Oh that my. was great. Um, that was another one. Does anybody right. want to? Uh, uh, what? Chipotle. Chipotle donated all the dinner, so Whoa. everything is donated, you guys. Did I miss yeah. the Chipotle? Yeah, where's that? There's still Chipotle, I think. Bruce, how are you? I'm good. Yeah, Thank I feel like I'm joining the party late, but it's just good to. It's okay. Join. No, no, it's exactly on time. The party is just starting. We need a little bit of infusion. We've all been here since. Well, I've been here since eight. And it's amazing. Really, and it's pretty amazing. We have raised 135, guys! Woo! Woo! Yeah! 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 All right, so does anybody have any strategy for outfitting their car? Who prioritizes oh, oh, acceleration yeah, I to do over control? What, is this thing? what are your pro oh, tips? Like I have no pro tips. No, Steve has no pro tips. I, I think nothing. the ginger girl one's good in the I'm middle. Tenuki I would go for that. Mario. Who's the Daisy? Like the Top I middle. No, Daisy, I'm yeah. No one wants oh. to be Daisy. Why does no one want to be Daisy? Here, I'll be Daisy. Who was playing as Daisy? Who was? I'll play as Daisy. earlier. I think so too. I, I feel really. I'll be willing her on. Just ginger. Um, I see. Yeah. Uh, I think you're giving me good luck good. for this character. Yeah. Rowena that would be my strategy. Rowena and Chad is saying Ruth is really out here looking fabulous. I got ready in the car. That's the secret. No, not why. RJ Connect says always pick the ginger girl. Exactly. Somebody's asking if I can commentate the race. Now I have. Yeah. I've actually physically never seen this in my life Which before. is going to make it amazing. <laughs> yeah, it makes it that much better, yeah. Great. So yes. there's four things and four corners. Excellent, <laughs> yes. <laughs> there are well, yes, somehow there seems to be seven or eight players. What do you think that they're doing right now? I think they're warming up. Okay, great. You gotta yeah. warm up. And choosing. This is the first time I've been I'm, to one of these things where somebody knows less about video games than me. Okay. <laughs> so I think they're warming up and choosing their hairstyles. Yes. That's what I was getting from Okay, perfect. we're choosing our outfits. Choosing their outfits. Uh -huh. <laughs> The, you chose the ginger. You I were, chose the ginger. You went, yeah. You're gonna be a smart movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna have my moral support. Uh, yes, thank you. I'm very excited about that. And what should we play? What? So there's a choice of games. Okay. I love Bowser's There seems to be a choice of four games. It's gonna be so tough. Bowser's Castle. Oh, Bowser's Castle's bad news. It's bad. It's bad. It's, bad. it's, bad. it's, bad. it's, bad. it's the worst one. Wow, listen it to this is commentating. Yeah. It's very yeah. tough. It's <laughs> tough. Is it to do with a castle? Yes, it's a terrifying castle. Oh, terrifying. Yeah. Is it super Look what's happening here. Yeah. Oh, there's like a fiery monster. Yeah, that's yeah. Bowser. So excited. <laughs> and there's a race. There's going to be a race. Oh, I can't wait. Four contenders. Two, one, and it's starting. The race is starting. And they're off. Go. And they're going really fast. That one seems to be, that one would be dead in real life. It seems to crash into a lot of stuff. Who's sixth? Who's sixth? I am not. Who's the, who's the, right? who's the loser in the top right? So, I oh, no, it's a ginger. I'm the ginger on the top yes, right. Steve is top right. Top right. She's doing really top well. Yes. She's really sparkly. Oh, 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 she looks oh, really pretty that. when she crashes. Oh, yes. <laughs> she's got sparkly wheels. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. She's got the sparkliest wheels. That's why she's oh, right. yeah. Ooh, I'm in oh, first right happened? now. Feeling good. Who, who's in third? You seem to be riding a hamburger. Uh, who's in third? They're riding I'm, I'm a hamburger. Are you going third? They're riding a hamburger. Here, look, it's I'm a, a second right now. Is it actually a hamburger? I don't know, it could be. It's like a green hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm gonna get it! Oh, there's been terrible there's death and destruction in the castle. There's death and destruction. But there's a parachute. Somebody just put a parachute. Which I didn't know cars did that, but Sorry, I hit someone with a shell. Why did you just put it? Because I just, I got a win. It was violent, but I got a win. This game is really violent. It certainly is. Um, it's slightly violent. Slightly violent. Oh, the race is still happening. I tried it. And... How's the ginger doing? Oh, the she's ginger's great. in third! Uh, she's in sparkly wheels second. every time she crashes. She just got passed. She got hit! Oh. 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 She just had a pirouette and she got hit. Oh, wow. like oh no, watch out for the oh. big bomb! Oh, it's, oh, I got it's like she goes naked oh. when she gets hit. Oh gosh! No, 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 I don't like the ink! So, why is there music now? Is this because... <laughs> is the game over? Is the race over? Not yet. Okay, the race is still happening. Yeah, we are on... Second lap. How do you know who's ahead? Um, 
the numbers no. on the bottom no. right or bottom left sides of the screen <laughs> tell you what place they're in. So that's the only way you know. Um, so right now I'm in four. Oh, she's oh, kind of like range. Oh, what? Uh, no, uh, for, the person on the left side Whoa, is in wow, first. Okay. <laughs> Top left is first. Bottom right is fifth. Bottom right is third. Oh, and then right. Right. top right is fourth. Can you, can you like go faster? I'm so trying. Can you drive faster? I'm trying so hard to go faster. We know her stuff. Can you like win? I'm doing so hard. Yeah, and you can see people in front of She's incredible at what she does. Special effects makeup and beauty makeup. Thank you, lovely. Thank you, Nancy. 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 Thank you, Thank you. Ginger. 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 Thank you, dearest Ginger. Ginger. Oh, and we're paragliding now. We're yeah, paragliding. Yes, so paragliding. It awesome. feels good. Guys, if anybody has to leave, like just feel this. free to leave when you need to leave. Thank I appreciate it. Like, oh, oh, no! No! No, no, no! Fourth! Oh, no! And now I'm in third! Now I'm in third! Fix it! Fix it! I'm trying my best! Fix it! It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's never over. Just like Lenny Kravitz says, it ain't over till it's over. I'm slightly biased towards Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, that's right. Fourth place. 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 Fourth Do you want to sing, Ruth? Do you want to sing a, a little mermaid song with me? I can try. I mean, okay, so I'm, I'm, you, I'm done. I'm done. We'll just find something else for you. Oh, we can do a little mermaid song. We're going to sing. Yeah, we're going to do part of our work. But we're going to sing it together. Guys, I I have. I don't know how to sing We don't know how to sing it either. And I've lost my voice. Can you uh, blanket bring it up so we can read? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes. Guys, we're doing this. I should take my hair down a bit and become more mermaid. Guys, we're less than $2,000 away from the $100,000. Oh, wow. Guys, she's disrobing. <laughs> <laughs> She's for charity. It's disrobing for charity. for charity, guys. Your donations go to Ruth Disrobing. Redheads unite for Ariel. It's true. Uh, Rock Lobster, we can't, we can't, we don't have the music, but we might look it up after this, okay? Uh, I don't really know this song, but I feel like you could really ruin this song. Okay, like can you sing with us? Can you sing with us a little bit? I got your back. I got okay. your back on this one. Guys, this is what we sing on a road trip together. Uh, Charlie. Seeing who can be yeah. the biggest mermaid. Exactly. Look at the stuff. Isn't, Isn't it neat? neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this troll. Treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think. Sure, she's got everything. I've got gifts, yeah, but some gifts I've got a plenty. I've, I've got, got who's, who's it's and what's it's, it's galore. galore. You want to think about bobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see him dancing, walking around on those what do you call it? feet. Don't your friends, don't you far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling around on us. What's the word again? Street up where they walk. I was gorgeous and I'm pitch. I'm tone deaf. No, you were so beautiful. You were not tone deaf. Is she no, tone deaf? No, she's not tone deaf. Absolutely. You can't even say you're tone deaf. Official diagnosis. Rob has to go soon, and if you uh, want Wayward Son, you just have to donate. You have yeah. to donate getting for four yeah, Wayward donations. Wayward donations. Go ahead. Keep getting yeah. four. Guys, for 
$200, Rob. We'll say where it's done and we'll, we'll do some backup. We'll do some yeah. 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 backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural backup. $200, guys. Carry on, Wayward Son. Carry on, Wayward Son. Come on, Mary. I know you're watching. Okay. Panic Switch just donated 200 Dance. I don't know how, that that is. Is. I don't know how we do that. This is, this is the official dance. This is the endless oh, two step. Here we go, ready? Oh my god, Steve from the Jason Miller just donated. Jason Miller just donated. Jason, Miller just donated. Jason, Miller. Jason, Miller. Jason, Miller. Jason, I love you. Yay, Supernatural! with the leg. Right on that big old vocal. Really? You gonna start right there? That's how it starts! Come on! Thank you so much. Yay. Thanks for having me on. Having me on. Such a great cause. Happy to be here. And yeah, thank yeah. you all of you for donating. Yay. It's been amazing. Yeah, and we want more. We want more. We want more. We want more. And also, yeah. we're going to Skype at 7.30 with someone from RISIS just to explain and give you a little context. That's and, awesome. Uh, and understand where the money's going. RISIS is an organization. It's a charity. So anything you give is going to be tax deductible. You're taking it from the government and giving it to this organization that defends uh, children in court. It really, yes. they're lawyers. Uh, they provide legal services. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but the children in custody, um, regardless, unaccompanied children for years have been having to go through this, uh, where children will be represented in court by them by themselves. They're wow. children who have no adult with them and they're trying to argue their asylum case as young as three and four years old. And now we have 2,000 children. They were taken away from their families um, on the border in the last month and a half. And there's no way to trace. They, were, they had no system in place to put them back together. And that's why si only six children have been united, reunited with their families. It's a travesty and it's just embarrassing and a blight, I think. And thank God a judge stepped in last week and ordered that they be reunited with their families within two weeks uh, and I think a month, depending on the age of the child. But the fact that it has to be ordered is incredible. So your donation really, really means a lot. And it's going to a great organization. I'd love for them to come on and talk for, you know, for a little bit about where the money's going and how it's spent so that you guys um, have full clarity on what you're supporting. Because they're a great cause. It's not about politics. It's about human humanity. So yes. thank you. OK, Jennifer, right, can you? There might be some tech hiccups. hiccups. We're going live on you in five, four, three, two, one, go. Hi, Jennifer, can you hear us? Yeah, can you guys hear me OK? Yay! Yay! <laughs> no hiccups. Let's go. So thank I'm you so much for having me on. And thank you for doing this. We are just so 
grateful. And what are you guys at now? 153? No, 157 oh. since we just dialed Oh up. my gosh. That, that is, is just like amazing. We are so thankful. I wish I had known I should have worn my unicorn outfit for this interview. <laughs> you have your own? Well, that's pretty great. Were you at a rally today? Were you got were you at a rally? Yeah, um, I spoke at the Families Together uh, rally here in San Antonio, Texas. Woo! I lived there for two years. Hello. Oh, really? Yeah, when? I actually I actually met Summer Glau. We were in ballet school and ballet company there when we were 14 years old together. What? True story in San Antonio. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm so I glad that you can. San could... Antonio. I know it's a great city. I, I went to Austin, UT. So um, it, it's great, Texas. Oh, no. Yeah, hook them. Um, so Jennifer, I want. I, I'm so glad that you were able to uh, Skype in because I, I, I've been talking about Rice a lot all day. But I would love for you to talk to the viewers and the donors about how this money is going to be used, especially with regards to the children, who you guys uh, advocate for, and just so they know in what good hands that, that their money is going and what they're going to be able to do with it. So um, a lot of the donations will go to legal services for families seeking asylum here in the U.S. Uh, as you know, um, it's a pretty complicated system, the immigration system. RISIS has been reuniting families for 30 years now. It's not a new thing. Uh, it's often hard to navigate our broken immigration system, and I think our current administration has made it a little more difficult for us uh, We've essentially had to become our own private investigators to be able to locate these families and reunite them. Wow. And so you guys are concentrating on the two, there's 2,000 plus children still waiting to be reunited. How are you guys working with that specifically? So earlier this week, we launched a web portal that um, other NGOs and immigration attorneys can log children and that they're working with. So, so far we have about 450 children. Uh, the youngest child is just two months old, and the average age is eight years old. Wow. So these were, yeah. I mean, that's incredible to me. And they're, where are the children? Where are they located? Across the country in foster homes? Or, like, where are they being held? They're located in various internment camps, camps throughout the country. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Um, so thank you so much for what you're doing. How, I mean, how can people help other than give money to you guys? Um, how can they help? What can we do? Like, I, this to me is not a political cause. It really is a humanitarian thing. And to me, it's just what I think of a, as what America represents to the world and to me as an American. This is this has nothing part of it. So what can we do to feel more empowered? Because this event right now has brought all of us together. And, uh, and, and what can we do going forward to help? Um, you can go to riasistexas.org, and we're definitely in need of volunteers. Watching you guys cry is making me feel so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, just, I mean, just, to, just um, to even think about, I have a 17-month-old baby, and just to think of her being taken away from me uh, and not knowing where she is, and the fact that a private... You know, charity has to create a portal to try to reunite the children with their... F I mean, this is crazy. They didn't have any way to track the children and their parents? Uh, the U.S. government doesn't just give out lists of the parents and the children, so we've had to kind of track them down ourselves. We've also la launched a hotline. Um, they can call that 866-ESTAMOS if anybody has any information. We definitely need volunteer translators, uh, you know, go to our website and see how you can help out. And also, uh, contact your local elected officials and let them know that this is not okay. And, you know, families belong together. Yeah, it's it's incredibly, um, it's just incredibly strange that, that anybody can be supporting the policy. And even though the, po and can you talk about, so a lot of people think that the policy, you know, is uh, either, Separating the families was something that happened for many, many years, and that's not actually true, correct? It's just this, uh, the order in the last month and a half that uh, really was, was separating the families. And can you talk a little bit about that so we can correct some misassumptions that people are spreading? Yes, well, there is a Flores order, which essentially the rule is that you cannot detain a child for um, more than 20 days. Mm -hmm. So 
right now it's just a lot of legal gray areas and i think that border patrol and ice don't even really know how to uh navigate the constant changes that the administration is putting this through the system so with the executive order that's halted the separation of families but what exactly is that doing and why do we need to still be on top of this issue for the children so it has halted the order, but parents are still being deported without their children. Um, during in intake, ICE and Border Patrol also weren't marking parents as being parents. So some of these families aren't even connected with each other. So it's hard to uh, put them back together. We have a client now in El Salvador. He and his daughter, his six-year-old daughter, uh, migrated here together seeking asylum. They were separated once they were detained. He was told that his daughter would be returned after he went to court. And once he went to court, he was said, he was also told, if you sign these deportation papers, we'll give you your daughter back. He was then deported without her. She is still in an internment camp in Phoenix, Arizona. And that's kind of, I'd like to know how they'll reunite those families you know, the parents that who have already been sent back to their home country. I mean, that's incredible. And where have, have, have you guys been able to get any access to where these camps are? Because they haven't shown us any pictures. They showed us a couple pictures of some of the boys. But the only, you know, access I've seen coverage, uh, some senators have gone in. But is there any coverage of where the little girls are or the babies? That I mean, we haven't seen that. Um, they're under pretty tight wraps and the ones we know about we don't advertise them publicly because you do have people who are a bit uh you know have threatened violence against these children and so we don't like to share that to protect the children's oh privacy God. we think it's really important that um even if they're in these camps we don't want you know yeah the kkk was marching the other day we don't want those people to know where these children are and put them in any kind of danger but the red cross from my understanding has not been allowed access to these places where the children have been held is that that's kind of unprecedented isn't it i mean just internationally so even for us to you know all the money we've raised we would love to go to these uh centers and make donations on people's commissary accounts mm -hmm. so that they can make phone calls home to their families mm -hmm. just to start a commissary account it's 25 dollars, and making phone calls to your family is eight dollars a minute wow. Um, wow and wow. we can't just go into a camp or a, a center and say i want to put you know fifty dollars on everybody's account we need people's names to even be able to do that mm -hmm. And, and just uh, briefly, can you talk, I've been talking a lot about, um, because I was kind of shocked about the, the fact that some of these children are getting summoned to represent themselves in asylum court. Can you talk about how you guys work with them and how you are paired with these children who need um, a lawyer and they have to essentially hire a lawyer themselves? Yeah, so the administration uh, in mid-May uh, decided that they would no longer be funding attorneys for these unaccompanied minors. So basically now nobody who's seeking asylum has a legal right to an attorney, even through the bond process. It's not the bond process where you get arrested and your parents can put down a certain percent with a bail bondsman. You need the $10,000 cash right there to be able to even bond out. Wow. Before you have to go to immigration court. Wow. And what do the children do? I mean, I mean, how they, they're supposed to advocate for their, themselves to seek asylum. But like, what? How does a judge even know that if a baby can, it needs asylum? What if they're in danger? They, it's a baby. Most, most of them don't even speak English. Uh, it's oh. it's a broken system. It's it's truly heartbreaking. And it, it it's heartbreaking work. And then it's also you know it's an emotional roller coaster because we have great people like you helping out. But at the same time, it's it's heartbreaking work when you hear about the things uh, that are going on inside of these detention centers giving children medicine, uh, having them clean the detention centers. It's just I've heard I read about those. They were there was a there was one place that detained them and they were forced to get have psychiatric meds so they couldn't even walk, you know? I mean, these are and you guys, the more you research yourself, you know, like don't believe what people say. Like do the research yourself. Uh, you know, like the thing about Snopes, you know, people are like it happened under Obama, why didn't you care 4 years ago? Well, that is a line that bots use a lot on Twitter. I see it all the time. And it's also a, a talking point. Someone just donated $3,000. So, and, oh my god. Oh, what are we up to now? We are 160, almost 161 just while we were talking. <laughs> wow, thank you Wingspan. Thank I mean, you. you're incredible. 
So, uh, wow, this is, I mean, how is it legal? I don't know. I, people are asking why, it, how is it legal? Is it, is, was the system broken before and this is just making it worse? Because the John Oliver segment I wrote, uh, I, I watched was predated this, uh, didn't it? And it's appalling in itself. And now we're having something more appalling on top of it. Yeah, and I, and I think there's no quick fixes. Like, we need to work through the legal system and through, um, you know, legislation to really try to fix this system. These are people seeking asylum from violence in their countries. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not criminals. You know, yeah. none of the rhetoric is true that you hear. Yeah, um, they're, they're legitimately, it's a, it's a, it's part of the Constitution, right? The, from asylum, or can, can you speak yes. to that? I mean, it's a, one of the fundamentals not, of the country. I'm not an uh, immigration attorney, so I yeah. can't walk you through those. Um, I'm just a comms major. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, if you guys do, I mean, you guys do your research. Listen, you don't need, you know, if there's something that I said that might not, you might not think is accurate, do some research and uh, go out, go forth, but don't spread talking points unless you, you know, I've tried to do a lot of research, um, but I may have misspoke yeah. at a certain point. Um, that's why I wanted to have Jennifer on here to really talk from an on, you know, from a legal and a communication standpoint, especially to the money that you're giving. And you can see that it's going to a great cause, and um, it really is helping in a situation that really is not getting necessarily better. It's getting a little bit better, but your voices still need to be heard, um, including you know the donations are going to go far. But really, it's your advocacy, yeah. and you're talking about it and advocating and not letting up on your representatives and going to vote for people who stand for the things that you believe, no matter what it is you believe. Um, He's so. speaking out. You know, some of these cases cost up to twenty five thousand mm -hmm. dollars and can take more than five years to navigate through the system yeah well that's incredible and when we talk about they're not being separated anymore they will still be detained and separated for up to two weeks from their parents and that is i'm a i'm a member of the sioux nation my grandmother was put in a residential school like wow. the trauma that these children are enduring it's going to last forever yeah and no. we just really need to think about that it's it's heartbreaking to watch history repeat itself yet again. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing if someone applies for asylum and is rejected and is returned to their country, we don't need to be separating children from, I mean, this, it's just tragic. We don't need to do that step. What is, nece there's nothing yes. necessary and it's been being used as a political tool to try to, uh, you know, either, d I don't even know. I mean, so I don't want to go into it because I don't want to get into the politics. I just want to talk about the children and what you guys are doing for their good. And so thank you. Jennifer, is there anything else you want to say? No, just thank you. We are just so honored, you know, for everybody's uh, support. You know, today we had the rallies. Uh, we had a local bake sale here in San Antonio where all the bakers made all these treats and they've raised about $7,000. Wow, that's incredible. on baked treats, you know. So we are just so thankful that, I mean, people care. We yeah. care. And... We just have to keep pushing forward until this changes. We need to have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to protecting children. Yeah, and there's clearly a, a system that needs to be revamped, but uh, not it's a penalty of morality or what America stands for for me. For me. So uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate thank it you. and what you guys do. And so uh, uh, we will be giving you a lot. We are already sent all this. You guys have this money. It's going directly to yes. you. But I have we've my T-shirt. We've been getting bombarded with emails. Yay! <laughs> oh my God! I mean, gamers and nerds and geeks, we are uh, we are tribe, we are family, and uh, you know we are so excited to make you part of our family and our passion. So thank you as a group. We're so happy to be a part of your family. Thank you so much for this. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Bye. Thanks. Bye, Jennifer. That was awesome, you guys. Let's cut to some videos. Yeah, let's, do let's cut to. Uh, we have some videos from uh, actors who could not be here that they love to be able to share the, what they got and support this uh, thing. And then we're gonna do another hour of awesomeness, you guys. Uh, maybe we'll do dancing. I don't know. What do you think? Dancing. Dancing, dancing for an hour. And, and on a high note. Uh, and on a high note. And guys, everything. I mean, one sixty one five. Like, we're at one hundred and seven percent. We wanted twelve thousand dollars. Claudia Ram <laughs> Raman donated one hundred dollars. Thank you so much. We're gonna have a good time. Hi there, this is Misha Collins. I'm in Japan right now, so I can't be at Felicia's Twitch event in person, but this is an issue. Um, she's raising money for um, the separated migrant families at the southern border of the United States um, in one of 
I think, our country's darkest recent chapters. It's just appalling what's going on there. Felicia and I both have young children, so we have a very visceral, empathetic understanding of how terrible it is. I can't even imagine being separated from my children for anything, let alone a misdemeanor, which is, by the way, what crossing the border um, is. It's a misdemeanor, and a lot of these people are seeking asylum. They're fleeing violence. Um, it's heartbreaking. Let's do something about it. Thank you. Oh, Ruth, do you want to come on? Ruth has to go, but she wanted to say yeah, bye. So I, I don't know if I'm going to say it right, but I think Stan's and Misha are going to match 10K <gasps> or something. What? Wait, so, what? Sorry, Michelle, if I'm doing it wrong. Uh, okay, so Michelle from Stan's and Misha are going to match if we can get 10K. Wow. If we can get 10K this hour, then they're going to match it and donate another 10K. Yes! Yes! Let's do it! I was on my own for a second. Oh my god, let's try it! Let's try it! Somebody just tipped another thousand.